my name is Stephen J. Preston, and today I'm going to let you in on the secret of playing like a pro. Practice. Yep, good quality, consistent practice. Takes hard work, takes application, takes patience. So if you're looking for an easy fix for your piano playing, this channel is not for you. However, if you are serious about improving on this wonderful instrument, then stick around. Because today and in subsequent videos, I'm going to give you some tips and pointers and techniques and exercises that I use myself and I use with my own piano students that I hope will help you along your journey. Okay, what we're going to do today is a hand mirroring exercise that will help you with coordination and control. So, first of all, the setup. You should be lined up with middle C if you are a beginner. Okay, so there's middle C on my, on my keyboard. So when you're comfortable, we're going to use some chords in the right hand. A, C, E. Do it above middle C, it just sounds better. There's, you can do it anywhere on the piano, but here's fine, it sounds good. Left hand, A, C, E. And what we're going to do is simply mirror each hand, going from outside to inside, like this. Now notice in each chord, I'm using the third finger as the middle finger in the triad. Not this, not this, this. Okay, so that's our first chord. Have a practice doing that if you're a beginner. Then we move to chord number two which is an E minor chord. We've got E, B, now notice I've swapped to a two for the B, one, left hand, G, B, notice that's a three, and one on E, and you're gonna do the same again. Then we're gonna move everything down a step, so that we've got a D minor chord with a D on the top. A, notice that A is still a two, not a three. It's a two. And then we've got in the left hand, F, A, D, with a three in the middle. And then we're gonna to move to our last chord, which is a chord of G major. So we've got D at the top, B, Notice now that's with a three, and G, then G, B, and D in the left hand. Okay, so we need to practice now putting those four chords together. Notice what we're doing is trying to keep everything completely together. I want to avoid what I call the plums. This is the plums. Plum, 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 plum. If you're making that kind of sound when you play, your hands are not coordinated. You really need to focus on keeping everything going, uh, keeping the notes going down at exactly the same time. Don't rush it at first. Take your time. Make sure the transitions between the chords are smooth and that you're using the correct fingering that we talked about at the beginning. Now then, if you're more advanced and you find that fairly straightforward, now's where we start to exercise the brain. What we're gonna think about this time is having your hands playing at different volumes. So this time, I'm gonna play the same chords at the same speed in the same way, but I'm gonna concentrate on my right hand being louder than my left hand, like this. When 
you can do that is think about our left hand being louder than our right. This is a little bit more tricky. back four, back and four. Left hand. Right hand. Left hand. So what we might then want to think about, if you get comfortable playing that, is looking at splitting up our hands even further, where maybe now we can think of the top of our hand here with number five finger, your little pinky, being the dominant finger and all the other fingers being quieter than that, like this. on our left hand. Maybe try it with our thumbs. tricky about it, maybe the first two, five and three. still want to take it further we can look at developing a little improvised melody on top of these chords with the top and this time we will need to change maybe from a three to a one two four to give you a chance to move this pinky around like this a pretty little exercise hopefully it won't kind of drive you crazy playing that over and over again I tend to do this these types of exercises almost like a meditation where you get lost in them and you just play them until you just get a feel for the keyboard and you feel like you're you're in the zone and then you go off and play other stuff so if you've enjoyed that have a go playing it 90 miles an hour <laughs> found that useful if you did then you know what to do everybody says it please press subscribe to my channel and press the little bell 
so that you'll be notified the next time I put up another video. There'll be much more to come. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.